Okay, another 2 a.m. screencast. This one's going to be talking about ARIA 2P. It is a uh, front end to ARIA 2C daemon. Not to be confused with um, ARIA 2C, you know, the command line program. And this one is talking about like a ARIA 2C, the daemon, all right, which is like a totally different thing. But uh, this one's a front end to it. It has like command line options and it also has. Uh, the text user interface, which is what I wanted to talk about. So if you watch my video on Diana scripts that I made, like a poor man's Aria 2C Damon. I'll link you that in the, in the description if you missed that video. But forget that one. Use this one. It's way better. And anyways, let me just show it off so you can see it here. So we have to actually activate this here. So Aria 2P. All right. And this is basically the uh, UI uh, for the text user interface. But let me download some stuff here. Uh, we'll use um, SurfRaw and we'll search Google for um, some Linux Mint ISOs or whatever Linux distribution you um, you know want to download from. Um, what is that one? XFC. There we go. This is the one I did before. All right. So when I open some of these, we'll do Mate also. And we'll go to the ISOs. So if I want to download from here, we'll send it to the daemon, the R to uh, C daemon, right? And let's say XFC. Where is that one at? We'll download from this one, number thirty here, right? So I can send it to my um, R to C daemon, and this, the R to P, the text user interface. I can see it like a, you know. Um, as a download manager from the terminal, this is what I always wanted, and now it is possible. Although there's some issues with this or missing features, I will explain later on. But as you can see, it's in action here, pretty cool. Um, so these ones are mainly like HTTP links, right? And that's what I use Aria to um, to download from. You know, uh, although you can do torrents too if you want. Let's let's bust out a torrent here. We have a torrent. We'll do this cinnamon one here for the torrent. Where the hell's the torrent? There we go. So this is the torrent link. And I'll send that to the daemon also. Let's see if it works here. So there you go. It downloads the um, the torrent. Let me uh, zoom out here. So it downloads the torrents, right? And then it will activate this, um, this torrent link here. Uh, although you can't see it. But this is basically from that cinnamon one here. And now it will actually download from the torrent, um, you know, whatever it is. So it can do, you know, HTTP links, meta links, and also um, torrents. So there you go. Anyways, if you want to get the hotkeys for this, um, all you got to do is hit H. And this is your hotkey, really. So one negative about this thing is that it does not have Vim hotkeys. So I have to use stupid arrows. Um, you know to go up and down stuff like that which is really annoying but anyways you hit h to get this menu and then you figure out your hotkeys that you need to know but basically it's just arrow keys you hit space to pause um you know if i hit space on any of this it'll pause right you hit space again it'll resume so let's say for example which one is already dead so if i want to resume this here it'll be active again and there you go right Anyways, not that hard to use the program. Um, as far as the command line options in here, because they do have command lines, this quit out of this. You hit Q, quit. And this one, the ARIA 2P has, you know, like I said, the uh, text user interface that you just saw, but it also has a command line if uh, you hit dash H here. So this is the command line. And I usually don't use the command line because I, I use some other program for it. But this is the command line. You can add stuff, right? You can add ma magnets. You can add metal links, which I really never run into magnet links. I mean, metal links, right? Um, I usually don't run to metal links a lot. But magnet links and torrents, you can use it with this. Although I really don't recommend you use this with torrents because. Um, uh, the transmission daemon does that better, you know. It has, it has, it does a better job for torrents. Like I said, mainly I would suggest you use this one for is just HTTP links, and that's it. But it can do all of those, like I said. Anyways, what other options they have in here? Um, 
So the show one here, this is basically what is that here? Aria to P show. It will just show you, you know, what we saw um, in the um, texture interface, all the um, stuff that we download or is active, right? You can run that into a uh, the watch command if you want to have like a a command line um, encourage interface. So I don't know if you want to do that, but the top one is the uh, the interactive one here that we did before, right? Aria to P top. And that's basically the text user interface. Although if you have the uh, TUI install, all you gotta do is just run uh, Aria 2P and it will actually default to um, the text user interface. <clears throat> Anyways, that's it for that. But how do you get it to work? Because um, this thing, if you want to activate the Aria 2C daemon, um, you would actually have to write your own script or you know your own command line or your own functions to do this but we're not going to waste our time doing that because there's actually another project that has already done that and that one is do i have it up there no i don't let me see here this one we'll just bust out google again here google and that one is called diana aria to c it was GitHub. I just want to make sure we get the right one. There you go. This one's by Baskerville. Baskerville, is that right? Okay. We'll use that one here. But he has this script called DAD. And basically it stands for Aria. What was that? Diana Aria Damon. And this is the script you want to use. So this is their page here if you want to see in the GUI here. All right. Uh, the GitHub page. So you want to use this script here, this dad script, and mainly because if you want to start your own uh, Aria daemon, um, you want to have the same session because if you close it down and you start it up again, um, you probably have a different session, and that's all you want. You want the same session, um, and this one takes care of it. Otherwise, if you want to write your own script, that's fine. But this one works perfectly fine. But I'll show you how to start this up here, all right? So, uh, this is the daemon that's already active here. So let me close down the daemon here. So if I do dad stop, uh, it will stop the daemon. So I can't start, you know, the R2P no more because it's the daemon's already off. But if I want to enable it, uh, I just do dad. Um, oh shoot, this one doesn't do. Um, what is that? Uh, we have to assign a uh, location of where you want to save the. Uh, downloads to so we do uh, media it'll tend say um, and then aria here so for example I just do dad dash D for the uh, directory and I want to do start and that's how you use the script here to um, start the daemon right for aria 2c and that's it that's all you got to do and then I want to start up aria 2p it will start up um, you know our last um, what is it our last session that we've done and you see these are the ones that we posited and that's how you use the dad script if you want to start the aria 2c daemon uh, you can see she still used this uh, Diana was it this Diana script too if you want but basically it's the same thing as uh, using the aria 2p uh, commands you know to add stuff in that so whatever you want to use is up to you, but I recommend the dad script definitely um, to to start the daemon um, because otherwise you're gonna have to start your own script and then you know write your own like uh, sessions and stuff like that. It's really annoying. Otherwise, you, you can probably do like a system D uh, you know process too if you want to do it that way. But if you want to do it locally, um, you can use the dad script like I said. Anyways, um, as far as the uh, the features that's missing in here, like I, I'll explain, is that uh, one is that there is no Vim hotkeys, and if you're using Emacs, probably no Emacs hotkeys either, All right? So that's a negative. It's, it's 2000, you know, 2020 now. Uh, we need all three, okay? We have the arrow keys for normal folks, Vim keys for the true religion. And then uh, Emacs key for the cult. All right, we need we need all three for all that. 
Uh, another thing is that there is no queuing feature, so it's really annoying. I, I can only add it. Let me give you an example here. Where the hell was that one? Legs Mint. What was the other one? Okay, here we go. Let's do the 64 bit here. I can only add it pause or I can add it, uh, act, you know, active. I cannot do, um, what was it? Uh, let's go down. Right, I can add this. Let's say, for example, this one here, I can add it pause. Right, or I can add it um, active, but I cannot add, um, right, I can add it like, you know, active here. But uh, as far as queuing, I can't queue. So when this when this one, this active one here is done, it does not go to the next one to download. Like, you, you know, you normally get on other uh, download manager. So you can't really queue it, which is really annoying because I want to add it um, to the download manager and then let it, you know, download uh, one after another, but it doesn't do that. So you actually have to manually activate this with the space hotkey, which is, you know, a waste of time if, um, you know, if you have a lot of downloads and you don't want to do that manually. It's, it's stupid, right? So that's one. That's another negative. So there's no the hotkeys, and there's no queuing feature, and also you can't really set it like, um, you know, uh, how many downloads do you want um, per session, right? So let's say usually people want three going on at the same time, so you can't have like parallel downloads at the same time. There's no way to set that. At least I, you know, I, I haven't seen any uh, configurations that does that. Uh, so that's another negative. Um, what else is there? Yeah, mainly that, and also like adding. You can't add it from the 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 TUI here. There's no way to add from the TUI. Uh, you can only add it from the command line. Um, you know. However, I saw some of these uh, issues being raised in the GitHub page. So, in the future, if you're watching this now, they don't have these features. But in the future, uh, they should have those features although the the one main feature that i wish they have is just let me queue the downloads and uh, that's mainly what i want right now and then i won't have to use the gy no more uh because right now i'm using uget and that thing is awesome because you know it has like all the features i want <laughs> but it's a it's a gui i need a terminal one and this is like the the prettiest looking terminal one uh that has all the functions that uh, I mainly want right now, but uh, they do need the queuing feature, the hotkeys, you know, the parallel downloads, the adding, and also maybe a password because you know some sites requires you have a password too, you know, to uh, to download from them. So those are the missing features. But uh, as far as uh, this download manager, I, I like it a lot. You know, I I mainly use it from. Um, my W3M web browser, like I just showed you right now, I download a bunch of these um, ISOs or HTTP files, mainly HTTP files. Uh, Torrents, I use some other, um, you know, transmission daemon for that, but uh, you can do, you know, Torrents with this too if you want. Anyways, that is the program. Um, as far as installing it, you have to make sure when you're installing it, um, what's their page here? Or what's the one here? Don't get the one the AUR because that one's just pure command line. Uh, you want to get the one that has um, what is that? The ARIA 2P and is like in brackets TUI, right? So when you're doing the pip install uh, from their website, uh, make sure you have the TUI in there. Otherwise, you just get the pure command line, and that's not what you want. You want uh, this one, and it has both. So that's it for the program. I'm looking forward to like future updates to this program because, uh, you know, if you watch my channels over the years, I try to replace one GUI at a time. And this one has been like in my top list for a couple of years now. I always wanted a, uh, a download manager that does HTTP links. I already have one for, you know, for doing torrents already. And that's transmission daemon. But this one is uh, missing, and now I can use it in, um, you know, my W3M. I can go to those subreddits that has like open directories, and I'll download from them. 
uh, real quick in the command line uh, in the terminal here using you know um, text user interface anyways that's the program really awesome just wish they add those features that I want and uh, that'd be it for this one